Hi everyone. Okay, this video will be in English. So I have many Revit building projects in United States. Many of them have flat roofs. The flat roof is not actually flat. We need slopes to run the rainwater to our roof drain. To get the slope, we have to create slooping built up roof on top of our flat roof. And if we want to have an accurate construction drawing, these slopes are critical since they will dictate the maximum height of our roof level and might also affecting our stair design. Okay, on the screen right now is my old project. You see I have built up roof here. I did this one piece by piece and they have to meet on a certain angle right now the angle is good which is 45 degrees using this 45 degree we can have same slopes for each segment you see we have a uh, different slopes uh, I mean we have uh, same slopes here okay let me open uh, my next project this is my latest project you see I have a built up roof here on this case I built this built up roof in one piece different angle different slopes in one piece this method turns out easier than the previous one since we can have variety of angles and slopes without having to do the math now I will show you the basic idea of this method before I show you the step-by-step -step ways to do it. So this is the basic idea. Once we have the flat roof and we have drain holes on it, we decide where we put the drain holes, then we will create a, a solid model on top of this flat roof as a built-up roof like this. And after that, we will create a void blend to cut our solid model. So we will have something like this and we have slopes to drain our water to these two holes. Okay, now we're back to the project that I showed you before. This already cleaned up, so it's ready to go. Now, um, this is just the roof part. I'm going to the roof plan now. This is how it's going to look on the roof plan. If we have the roof from here to here, uh, this is too long uh, for, for us to just have one r roof drain. So I make two roof drain here, here and here. And I will divide this whole roof into two sections and uh, I will divide it somewhere here in the middle now we will create the built up roof using this feature right here a component model in place okay we're going to use this but since this is going to be an extrusion we have to control the thickness of it so in order for me to be able to control the thickness i need two uh, reference planes one for the bottom of the model and the second one is the top of the models let me just show you here from the section i'm going to create a reference plane right here on the roof on the that's on the roof level and I'm going to name it I'm going to name it build up bottom and I'm going to copy this up this is the second one i'm going to name it uh, build up 
top. So our built up roof model will have a thickness about this much from here through here. So I'm not going to be accurate right now. I'm just going to create the built up roof. Let me go back here. Now I'm going to create the built up roof using component model in place and I will choose roofs so it will help me on a visibility and also scheduling. Now I will choose extrusion. Make sure uh, we're using a work plane that we already create which is uh, the reference plane built up bottom click ok now I'm going to create the roof following this boundary And we don't want to include the staircase and also elevator shaft. The extrusion should start at zero level. We will fix this one from the section. Okay, now we open the section and then we want to bring this line, this top line to our top reference plane and lock it. I'm using a line here and I'm going to lock it. then come back to roof now the solid model just finished created now we are going to make two void blends so our solid model can have slopes same way uh, I'm going to come here and use this void blend we're going to sketch the bottom part make sure we have the reference planes at built up bottom this is already correct so the base is this guy here so we're going to do it here exactly you can unlock it if you you can lock it if you want Now we're going to edit the top. Now the top, make sure we are on built up top, the reference plane that we created. Click OK. And this going to be zero. Now I would just do a simple rectangle for this guy. And I'm going to click OK. Let's see what happened here. 
Okay, I think we we have this slope already here. Right, slopes already. I'm gonna have a different material for this so we can see it more clear. Okay, that's that. That's we're finished with this section area. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this area. I'm going to go back to roof plan and create. Since our solid model already done from here to here, somewhere here, now we're just going to make the void blend again same way make sure this one's on the since we're on the base we're going to pick this one reference plane built up bottom okay and I don't know why can't I see this okay I'm gonna go wireframe so I can see this uh, our roof drain that's the base now we're going to do the top I'm going to click edit top and set this to reference plane top okay then I'm just going to make a simple rectangular shape somewhere there and click OK and let me click finish and see what we have here from the 3d view okay looks like it's done yeah it's done let me save it Now if I come to tab annotate and click this, okay, water will run through these holes. Okay. So you see there will need nicely on the interior edges without us having to do the complicated math now we have our built-up roof and now I'm going to show you how to control the slopes many times we have codes telling us what is the minimum slopes for this built up roof so I'm gonna come here to roof quick section we want to make sure that uh, we have the minimum slopes meets here okay that's one four inches per foot if this is not enough you can play with the height of this reference planes which is the built up top you can raise it 
up and down until this meets your number if it's half inch then it's gonna be this high which is too high uh, usually um, let me go back to the roof to get the minimum slopes meet I usually check which part is the longest right now, right now right now just from the roof plan we can see that the longest part is the longest slope is from here to here so it's about 65 feet yeah from here to here is short it's only 28 something 27 but here here is the longest part so we want to make that one meet the minimum code which is a slope of uh, let's say a quarter inch per a foot so uh, if I just create a reference plane here to intersect with the with our section here double click on that this is the reference planes that I just created I'm going to make an annotation line let's say the minimum slope that they ask is a quarter inch per a foot so I'm going to create a line go up and go to the side 12 inches and we'll connect the ends so this is going to be our slope if I want to make this longer I can just move this up and the slope will be the same so so you want to have your slopes about parallel to this line okay so we are okay this is pretty close the slope is uh, one four so as what I mentioned before if you want to play with the slope you can just bring this line I mean this reference plane the built up top up and down and the uh, built up roof will follow your um, movement now once we have that I suggest you to fix your stair here your stair is only up to the roof level uh, with top offset equal zero uh, you might want to raise it up about uh, I thought it was eight inches about eight inches yeah it depends on on your door here because this is where your f your roof and your stair meet so you want to have access from here this level should be the same okay okay so that that's it we have our built up roof ready here now so this is my way to do the slope built up roof if you have better ways please put it on a comment below and if this video is useful for you please like and subscribe thank you